This is a creative war. Fairy looks great with a mustache. And Mermaid looks cute with horns. Fairy and Mermaid can't decide who's a better artist. You only paint bubbles. And you only paint bugs. Well, we should start taking magical art courses. And the students will decide who's better. Here come the first students. Swim over here, girls. You don't have anything to paint on. That's all right. A rock will do the trick. Attach foam paper of three colors to the cover of a notebook. Pick out colors to look like sand and the ocean. Make 3D seaweed and underwater corals of different shapes using colored hot glue. Awesome! I didn't even know that it's possible to make paper out of seaweed. Thanks, mermaid! Fairy is also teaching her first class at her forest studio. Ooh! This grass is so fresh! Girls, don't fight! This is your sketchbook for drawing. Attach a sheet of green felt to the cover of a notebook. Hot glue real branches with leaves to it. And decorate it with dried flowers. Cut off the excess. Open the sketchbook and draw. There's enough space for everyone here. Mermaid is thinking about beauty even when she's in class. She always has her special dingle hopper nearby to help her stay stylish. Hot glue a straw to the handle of a plastic fork. Apply more hot glue to make it 3D. Spray paint the fork silver. Stick a pencil into the straw. It's time to evaluate the first sketches. The dingle hopper turned into a nice pencil. This fork has great potential. Just like your drawings, girls! And what does Fairy think about the girls' sketches? Not bad. Where is my branch for grading? Cut leaves off a branch. Hot glue them to a ballpoint pen refill. Apply more hot glue to the rod and color it with acrylic paint. Only Fairy can write with branches and leaves. My drawing gets an A+. I ran out of ink at the worst possible moment. But Mermaid's not bothered. Do you want a starfish pen? Cut a red hot glue stick into pieces. Fill a silicone starfish mold with it and melt it in an oven. Stick in a ballpoint pen refill while the glue is still warm. Cut off the excess. Wow! I have never drawn with a starfish before. This pen inspires me to create ocean landscapes. The art world is full of competition. Fairy stole mermaid students. And now, let's go back to class. We will create a nature collage. But Fairy, we don't have any glue. Don't worry. Take a glue stick out of its container. Microwave it. Add glitter and stir it well. Put the mass back into the container. Decorate the cap with sparkly tape. 
Wait for the glue to set. Ooh, it's glowing! Fairy's glue sparkles in the sunlight. That's real magic. Oops, where are my students? Mermaid will get her students back no matter what it takes. Her sparkly underwater glue will be perfect. Mix glitter and clear glue in a dispenser bottle. Color the cap with gold acrylic paint. Add copper and pearly shades using a dry brush. Make gold, blue, and green glitter glue. And here are our girls. Take some sea glitter glue from an underwater shop. It's wet and sparkly, just like a jellyfish's heart. Hey girls, you've been sitting on land for way too long. It's time to change your environment. We're working on forest landscape paintings. Christie's isn't going so well. That's because her pencil is wrong. Wipe the title of an eraser with a nail polish remover. Cut out a star with a handle. Stick a pencil into the handle. Apply nail polish onto the pencil and cover it with star-shaped glitter. Here, take my magic wand. Whatever you draw with it will be a masterpiece. Don't like your result? Just erase it with the star. Mermaid hasn't drawn for a long time. And here is a perfect view. I need my art organizer. Melt colorful crayons in a silicone seashell mold. Let the wax harden and take the seashells out of the mold. Weave a net out of twine on a styrofoam base. Gradually tie vertical and horizontal threads to each other. Cut off the excess. Attach stickers to a notebook. Hot glue the net to the bottom. Put the seashell crayons into the net. Seashell crayons are the best for drawing at a beach. And I keep them in a fish net so that they don't swim away. The best landscape paintings are done outdoors. Fairy brought along her art set for a good reason. Hot glue a palette of watercolors to a sheet of book board. Attach a block of drawing sheets at the bottom. Attach double-sided tape to the lid of the palette. And stick another sheet of book board as a cover. Color it with acrylic paints. Cut a paint palette out of cardboard and attach it to the cover. Paint colorful butterflies on it. Coat a silicone butterfly stamp with gold paint and make imprints on the palette. Paint outlines. Trim the wooden handles of paint brushes. and decorate them with rhinestones. Hot glue elastic ribbon to the inside of the organizer. And put in decorated brushes. These paints are so nice! 
all the wonders of the forest are in this notebook. Nature is so inspiring! Did you like our art supplies for magical creatures? Then comment below whose art class you'd like to take, fairies or mermaids. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new fairy tale stories from Troom Troom.